bitch did. She signed my mom up for the cheapest plan that was only 200 fucking minutes. What a fucking cunt. And if my mom hadn't realized, then she would have gone over the minutes. What is wrong with Mary? And the plan, 200, she's just a fucking cunt. Oh. My mom just changed it to unlimited. I'm like, I hope you're going to yell at Mary if I'm signing you up for, they call it emergency only, of course, because 200 minutes is not enough for anybody. You know? What a fucking bitch. She should have just got my mom the goddamn phone, you know, but then she wanted to get her the cheapest little phone because she, through T-Mobile because she didn't want to pay for the more expensive phone. And I'm thinking there should be a middle ground anyway. T-Mobile sure doesn't just have a cheap phone and more expensive. But the bottom line is Marianne just can't be bothered. She's like, oh, she, that's what she does to my mom. It's elder abuse. She can't be bothered. Desperately, desperately. Every day that went by, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get to talk to Bella. She understands she has mental illness, but she understands that she's, she's gonna help me. And then she wasn't even there. She blew me off. She didn't even remember we had a meeting set up. Now I'm never gonna see her again. I'm not even gonna fucking kid. needed to talk to her. I think I'm going to show her some of my poetry. See? My Aunt Mary convinces everyone I'm just some kind of low-life loser crack addict or something. You know, really, right like this and no one fucking cares. My mother won't even tell people the truth. It's a given she's not going to stand up to Mary because Mary will always say you're going to wind up back in the hospital. It's an implied threat, constant implied threat. But my mom won't even tell other people the truth. She won't tell them exactly what Marion does. All these little fucking things. It's elder abuse. Even this fucking phone thing. Not wanting to take her to get a phone saying it's her fault. Her phone's broken. All this crap is elder abuse. E L D E R A B. I'm not strong enough to do this on my own. Okay? going to fucking therapy. Why should I go to therapy? She's not a lawyer. She's not anything. She's just gonna tell me you have to deal with it. You have to learn to deal with it. Yeah, fuck you. Madness. Just like Elizabeth Wurzel said. That article, sad and beautiful. Madness is the sex and drugs and rock and roll before the lethal overdose. Madness is the calm before the storm. It's already beginning. I can feel it. You people watching these videos now are new. You can't even imagine how close to sane and normal I was when I was living, staying with my friend Joe. Now I'm a basket case. Because I know that Marion could stop by here. This is what my mom says Marion usually calls. I mean, you can't trust anything. The universe is up to get me. I mean, come on. Marion actually checks this room every time she comes over just to make sure my mom's not hiding me here, to make sure I'm not here. So sick. I didn't do anything. Marion laughs at me. She doesn't care what I said in those notes. My mom's getting a lawyer. Yeah, sure she is. And it didn't happen, did it? And Mary can point to that. Look at she wound up in the hospital for three and a half months because she really doesn't want to fight me. You have to understand it's her daughter influencing her. You think I'm an idiot? You think it's stupid? The social worker is perpetuating Mary's life. The social worker is getting on it with Mary and it's with this woman in the office. The only one on my side is Cheryl, but even she didn't bring me up. I didn't, I wasn't even mentioned because Miriam wants me non-existent. One of these days, Miriam will get what she wanted all along. Any non-moron knows that my fucking cunt of a not Miriam wants me dead. 
my mom would get over it. Because if she wouldn't get over it, she'll get over anything. Or else she would fight for me, and she never, ever, ever does.